China is always is complicated, right? The, the big question to me is whether China will oppose counter tariffs if that happens, uh, or any other country. Latin America is actually a much bigger issue for for the chemical sector, at least. Yeah, but it, but in general, reflation and you know a, a infrastructure. Uh, and you know, build, building out uh, you know all all kinds of things that that use chemicals and, and concrete and all these things. I mean, isn't that sort of the the cycle that we're in right now? Wouldn't you say here at least in this country? Yes, yeah, so the U.S. is clearly helping, uh, but I, the, the chemicals I think are helped more by the global factors, right? Crude price going up, that's a massive boost to the uh, uh, the petrochemical names. Um, China actually cracking down on several of its industries for environmental. Uh, pollution that has a massive impact as well, um, and the uh, the rise in the commodities, the uh, well, the, uh, China consuming more copper, steel, etc. That is certainly helping as well. I mean, do you cover the fertilizer business too? I or? do. I mean, that's got to be uh, hitting on a lot of cylinders too. Not all cylinders, or it is. So, so I saw CF there up 19 percent since the election. Now that is, uh, as much as I love to give credit to Trump for for that, uh, he can't really do that. I'm afraid. That's I think the Democrats have more fertilizer, actually. Don't you think, um, Bob? In general, there was a lot more uh, production, fertilizer production there, and that, and it's still uh, quite a bit being manufactured, Andrew. And it stinks. Yeah. <laughs> Trigger? Don't no. I'm triggering you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a safe place. It's a safe it's place. It's usually safe. Been safe it's all day safe. long. Okay, that was, okay, a, that was a joke about the fertilizer. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, the stuff Bill Clinton's been saying recently was pretty. I mean, you need really deep boots. But anyway, but um, <laughs> now the, the, the CF rally is just because ammonia prices and urea <clears throat> prices have gone up. Those have gone up because well, they bought them. They had to go somewhere. We were well below <clears throat> marginal cost of production. So once that happens, well, something has to eventually give. And it did. In this case, it was, once again, it was China who actually really caused the rally. Yeah. China shut down production, and prices starting to recover. Then CF prices just basically go straight with nitrogen. How much of a headwind is questionable emerging market growth and the strength in the dollar, something we've been talking about all morning? The strength in the U.S. dollar doesn't actually hurt the chemical companies all that badly. Uh, some of the specialty chemicals, they, they do get hurt because they do export a, a decent amount from the U.S. But the commodity names, they are pretty much insulated. Um, the emerging market, that seemed to be a huge concern last year, right? Lion Dell, Dow, they started la uh, this year pretty low place. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was, majority of that was fear of the emerging market growth, just slowing to a standstill. That would be hit, the, hit all the commodities. And since then, that fear has basically dissipated. And that's been a, a pretty good rally for both those stocks. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.